All right, we're back for some more of the birthday special. We're gonna play some Jeopardy Deluxe Edition for the Sega Genesis. If you saw the first edition of Jeopardy for the Sega Genesis, I won over $153,000. Let's see how my luck goes in this version. these as our categories. You are the category. Big business, islands, electricity, famous quotes, nature, natural science, excuse me, and finally, arts and crafts. All right, let's begin with arts and crafts for a hundred. I cannot. A person may respond when asked if he can do this craft of knotting cords. What is knit? What is knitting? Sorry. Dang it. What is, oh, macrame, macram, macrame. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Here we go. Big business, 100. French company that's number one in sales of sparkling mineral water in the US. What is Perrier? You are correct. Big business, 200. In 1988, the FAA gave this company three and a half billion dollars to improve the air traffic control computer system. What is IBM? You are correct. Big business, 300. <clears throat> Companies in this industry suffered the biggest losses from 1992's Hurricane Andrew. What is insurance? Big business, 400. Pharmacist Benjamin Green started this company in 1944 after cocoa butter tanned his bald head. What is, um, copper tone? You are correct. Big business, 500. Ultralock and Elnalock are makers of sergers, which are used in conjunctions with these machines. What are sewing machines? There we go. I ran through that category. $1,400. Uh, Arts Press 200 Someone dropping whittlings on the floor most likely has wood and one of these in his hands. What is a saw? Sorry. Darn. It's not a saw. Jerry. Oh, it's a knife. You are correct. Right. Go to the next clue, Jerry. Islands for 100. St. George's Channel, the North Channel, and this sea separate Ireland from Great Britain. What is the... <clears throat> what is the North Sea? Sorry. It's not the North Sea, okay. Jerry, you fail. Uh -huh. 
It's, oh well. Sorry? Karen doesn't know. No, the it's the Irish Sea. The Irish Sea, that makes sense. Islands 200. Canada's smallest province. What is Prince Edward Island? There we go. Islands three uh three hundred. Owl Tasman, who discovered this island, called it Van Diemen's Island. What is Tasmania? You are correct. Islands 400. Large Mediterranean island governed as part of France. What is uh, Corsica? Islands 500. An undersea volcano created the new island of Circe for this North Atlantic country. What is Greenland? Or maybe it's Iceland. No, we'll go with Greenland. Sorry? No, I think it is Iceland. Doggone it. Hey, tiger. Karen. <laughs> you fail. Hey, tiger. Hey, kitty. Hey, kitty. Jerry. Ah, she doesn't know either. So that leaves me the only player with money. Is it Iceland? It is Iceland. All right. Uh, Arthur Crest 300. And I found the daily double. I am just going to go $300 on this clue. The precise term for making these household items is latching. What are... Hangers? Sorry? No. Rugs. Nah, didn't know. Arts and Crafts 400. Term for carving designs into leather, fitting up a factory with machinery, or driving about. Karen. Oh, tooling. You are correct. That's the one. Next clue. Arts of Crest 500. A giant one of these with over 10,000 panels in memory of AIDS victims towards the U.S. Jerry. <laughs> you fail. Miserably. It's a quilt. Oh, okay. That's all right, Karen. Go ahead. Uh, Natural Science 100. The part of your body strengthened by fluoride added to the water supply. What are teeth? There we go. Natural Science for 200. It's the lack of one of these that makes a jellyfish an invertebrate. What's a backbone? You are correct. Uh, let's take natural science for 300. The function of this pigment in plants is to absorb light and change it into chemical energy. What is photosynthesis? Or no, pigment of this pigment. What is chlorophyll? 
this was a real show, they would have to take the first answer I gave. You are correct. Uh, Natural Science 400. These build up on cave floors from the calcite left by dripping water. What are stalagmites? You are correct. Natural Science 500. A unit of pressure, it's also the term for the envelope of gases surrounding the Earth. Karen. Oh, an atmosphere. That would have been my guess, too. You are correct. Famous quotes 100. In 1814, he bragged, France has more of me than I of France. Who is Napoleon? You are correct. Um, famous quotes for 200. William Ross Wallace wrote, The hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that does this. Uh -huh. Jerry. What is rules the world? You are correct. Right? Okay. Electricity 100. His experiments in electricity led him to invent the lightning rod. Uh -huh. Who is Benjamin Franklin? You are correct. Electricity 200. World Book defines it as electrons or ions that are not moving. What is static electricity? Oh, it's not static electricity. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, did I not? Did I say something else? I must have said something else other than static electricity. You are correct. I think I might have put studio electricity or something. Oops. That's okay. Electricity three hundred. Wrap a wire around an iron bar, send a current through the wire, and you've made one of these. What's a battery? Sorry. Oh, oh, I know what it is. Doggone it. Beaker Rupa. Oh, and we got away with it that time. Oh, a magnet. You are correct. Electricity 400. George Westinghouse promoted the use of this type of current that we use today. What is AC? You are correct. Woo! Static electricity 500. Galvani thought this dead animal released electricity when it touched a metal in its legs. What is a raccoon? Doggone it. Uh -huh. Oh, a frog. You are correct. All right. Famous quotes 300. In animal form, Orwell wrote, All animals are created equal, but some animals are this. Jerry. Hey, hey! Sorry? You fail. Miserably! Uh-uh. Karen. Sorry? No answer. Hey, hey! Uh, uh, uh. You know, the question is 
Are more equal than others. Next clue. Translation of Descartes' famous saying, Cogito ergo sum. What is I think, therefore I am. There we go. Now the last clip before we go to Double Jeopardy. The man who wrote, Man is the only animal that blushes, or needs to. Let me see who's Mark Twain. It was him, so I have 2,700. Karen has no money. Jerry, minus 400. Let's go ahead and get ready to start playing. Double dollar values, put two daily doubles on the board, and six all new categories. Let's go. You want the category? The circus. Fine China. Baseball history. G whiz, G in quotation marks. Potpourri, and finally, fiction. All right, let's get going. Jerry. Fiction for 200. The hero of this Sir Walter Scott saga is the son of Cedric the Saxon. What is Ivanhoe? Uh, fiction for 400. Much of his East of Eden is set in the Salinas Valley, just east of Monterey Bay, California. Who is, um, John Steinbeck? It is John Steinbeck. Fiction for 600. One of Nikolai Gogol's first works was this historical novel of a Cossack and his sons, Ostap and Andre. Karen. Doesn't know. So she's back in the hole, leaving me the only player, still leaving me the only player with any cash whatsoever. Jerry. Oh. Taras Bulba. You are correct. Okay. Fiction 800. His Mosses from an Old Bant is one of the finest collections of stories in American literature. Karen. Oh. Nathan, Nathaniel Hawthorne, okay. You are correct. Gee whiz, 200. Cranky, like that dwarf in the Disney movie. Like that dwarf in the Disney movie. What is grumpy? You are correct. I'll take the $400 clue in gee whiz. The type of humor you might hear if you hang around at a hanging. What is a jest? Sorry? No. Pika Rupa. Karen. Nope. Sorry. Back in the hole you go. Uh -huh. Yep. Sorry. Jerry goes back in the hole too. I'm still the only player with any cash. No, the Gallows. Yeah. Gee whiz for 600. The third sign of the zodiac, the third sign of the zodiac. 
What is Gemini? Um, uh, G-Wiz 800. Sometimes this cartilage makes meat tough to chew. Jerry. Yeah? Minus a thousand. Jerry, the object of being on Jeopardy is to try to give the right response. Karen. Oh, Gristle. You are correct. All right, baseball history 200. A dominant term of the 18 team of the 1890s, the Bean Eater, the Bean Eaters played for this city. What is Boston? You are correct. A baseball history 400. In 1887, statistically, a walk counted as this. I'm back. Welcome back, Pizzle. Oh, a hit. What? You are Glad to have you back. We're just playing Jeopardy Deluxe Edition for the Sega Genesis. Oh, sweet. Yep, Baseball History 600. In 1909, the first concrete and steel baseball stadium opened and was home to this Philadelphia team. Who are the Phillies? Uh, let's all go with the Phillies. You said baseball? Yep. Yep, Phillies. Really? It's not the Phillies. Oh. It's alright. I'm in the lead right now, though, so it's okay. Excuse me. Oh, the athletics. And if you want to know where my manners are, they're in the minus 400 points that Jerry has. <laughs> Fiction 1000. William Saroyan wrote the human comedy, and this 19th century Frenchman wrote La Comédie Humaine. Jerry. Honor de Balzac. <laughs> no. <laughs> Potpourri 200. To cow toe to your, the emperor, your head should touch the floor this many times after each kneeling. Jerry? Three. You are correct. No. <laughs> Yay. And stuff. <laughs> Uh, uh, the uh, Circus 200. The Ringling Brothers Circus had one that measured 500 by 200 feet. What is a tent? You are correct. The Circus for 400. Known for its dancing bears, this circus toured the U.S. for the first time in 10 years. Jerry. Oh, the Moscow Circus. Okay. You are correct. Lol. Lol. Yeah. Uh, G was uh, thousand. Yeah. The period perpetuated by Pericles. Lol. Can someone add Ian? Um, I would wait till I would wait till later, Marty. Oh, oh, Marty's not even here right now, so... Yeah. Marty's not here right now, so we're just going to leave the call the way it is for now. Yeah, just wait. Yeah, I agree. No, I don't know him. Alright. Karen doesn't know, Sorry. so she loses all her moolah. Bye, bye, money. So, if I don't have any... So, if I don't know the answer, do you think I'm going to ring in? No. No. <laughs> of Athens. Uh. Oh. Jerry. The circus for 600. In 1793, George Washington attended the first U.S. circus in this city, then the nation's uh -huh. capital. What is Philadelphia? You are 
It is good old Philly, that's right. You got it. Uh, the circuit's for 800, please. <coughs> Daily double. Mm. Alright, here we go. Song in which James Dern said, I'm off to join the circus, gonna be a broken hearted clown. Huh. What is, uh, Scarborough Fair? Sorry? No, it's not Scarborough Fair. It was... Like Goodbye, Cruel World. No, okay. Circus for a thousand. The workers do the, who do the odd jobs around a circus, like setting up and taking down the tents. I'm gonna try it and say, who are the rest abouts? Really? No! Oh man. Bika Rupa. Oh, oh. oh no! Oh no! Well, really? Jerry doesn't have a clue, so she's back in the hole. Oh, oh. oh no! She doesn't know either. Hey, you know the phone? Oh, yeah. rustabouts. I misspelled it. You better believe I am. I misspelled it, so that's okay. Uh, Pumpery 400. I'm actually watching this and the Marshall game. Marshall can't stay. It's a major leaguer. He won more games than any other, but he lost even yeah, more than he I won. Back and forth. Okay. Jerry. Doesn't know again. Pika Rupa, I got your Koopa. Wazoo. Ow. Karen. Doesn't know. By the way, the right answer was Rustabouts in the last clue, but I misspelled it. Oh well, it's all right. Uh, Connie Mac, Connie Mac. All right, let's take the six hundred dollar clue in potpourri. According to the can song, it was when this great ship went down. Uh, it was Corey Lawrence. <laughs> it was the Titanic. No. Yeah. You but your your answer was close though, Putnam. Close enough. Close enough, yep. Alright, Popery 800. The first Europeans to arrive in Minnesota were explorers from this country. I have a hunch, but I'm not too sure. Jerry. Spain. Spain? No, it's actually France, and that was my hunch. Uh, it was, yeah, it was France. Francais. But you know what? That's okay. Next clue. Popery 1000. This Florida lake is the second largest body of fresh water wholly in the U.S. What is Lake Okeechobee? Yeah, I know what that is. Yep. And of course, Pizzle, you would get me if I didn't say Lake Okeechobee. Well, if you got it wrong, I would... It's right! Oh, yeah. It is Lake Okeechobee. All right, baseball history for 800, please. Jim and Gaylord Perry are the only brothers to win the major league name for this name... Made to win the Major League Honor, named for this man. Jerry. Doesn't know. Back in the hole. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Karen. It was Cy Young. Oh, the Cy Young Award. Yeah, the Cy Young Award, uh-huh. They're the only brothers to ever win that, at least as far as I know. We're going on. Fine China 200. Yes, dear. This 1942 Disney film inspired a set of plates featuring little animals. What is Bambi? Of course. Everybody knows that movie very well. You are correct. But according to 402 Hamrock, it's called Bamboob. <laughs> yes, uh, Fine China 400. 
Flora Danica China was originally made as a gift for this country's Empress Catherine II. What is Russia? You are correct. Fine China 600. Yay. Yay. <laughs> the first bone china, which really is made from bones, was made in this country circa 1800. Try it. What is, uh, Mexico? Or wait, no. No, we're gonna try another answer. What is China? Sorry? No, maybe it is Mexico. Doggone it, son of a biscuit. Oh, England! Oh. I was wrong either way. Shoot. Uh, baseball history a thousand. And there's the other daily double. In which she can risk up to a thousand, which I know she will. The Black Sox team that threw the nineteen nineteen World Series lost to this Ohio team and it's the Cincinnati Reds. So that gives Karen some money, and we go to the next clue. Find China eight hundred. You can buy copies of the China This Architect the design for Tokyo's Imperial Hotel. Who's Frank Lloyd Wright? Yep. Last clue. Don't weep for Thomas Minton, the 18th century potter who made this woody pattern still used today. What is Willow? So I have 1,800. Karen has 1,000. Jerry, minus 600, so she'll not be around for Final Jeopardy. Although... Final Jeopardy category is history. <laughs> Karen's going just that much. I'm gonna wager nothing. In 1959, this Japanese crown prince broke tradition by marrying a commoner. Um, I will say who is Apizel 90. No, it's Akihito. Well, we know that um, Karen got it right. She wagered 300. I said a pizzle 90, and they credited me as, an, as a correct answer. What? I'm not kidding. They said my answer was correct, but it was because I wagered no money. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? I'm very serious. Category was history. I wagered no money, and I said who is a pizzle ninety, and it credited me as correct. Wait, what? I'm not joking. It did. Uh, what was what was the answer though? Akihito. Huh? Akihito. Uh, like no, the actual like the question was Akihito, but the answer I I don't remember. It had something to do with 1959 uh, Japanese prince. Oh yeah. But we'll see you all for that next segment. <laughs>